In this video, I'm going to take the most notable characters and scenes from the Wednesday Netflix show and recreate them with Lego. It only makes sense if we start with the very first scene, Pugsley, Wednesday's little brother, stuck inside of a school locker. We need to make a few of the red lockers first. Using a normal Lego door makes this easy peasy. Making sure there's just enough space for a minifig to fit inside. These tiles will work great for the floor and adding a brick wall behind the lockers completed the set nicely. Now we do actually need the Pugsley minifig to stuff inside of it. So I started by making a slightly off-white texture and simply adding a variety of black lines pretty much results in a perfect copy of his jumper. I can repeat the same thing for the arms and the upper part is looking pretty spicy. Luckily, the rest of his outfit is pretty much all black. That can be very quickly replicated. Even adding some shoes and matching socks in the process. I found his Lego hairpiece that matches the real thing pretty closely. He still needs a face though. I go a reference image, whacked in some eyebrows, added an emotionless face and a nice zombie pale skin ties it all together. Into the locker he goes. Looks nice and cozy in there in my opinion. So for those that don't know, Wednesday is a Netflix comedy horror show based on the Adams Family. It follows Wednesday as she makes her way through school, making friends and enemies with other students, alongside solving various mysteries. Unfortunately, LEGO never actually released an Adams Family set. There have been LEGO Ideas attempts to make that happen, but sadly LEGO took a hard pass on that. So in Rebellion, I'm going to design and create custom LEGO Wednesday sets, alongside some mini things. My girlfriend overheard my plans and exclaimed, If you don't finish everything before a build and chill date next week, I'm going to expose your illegal building techniques. Oh, blocks. So we better start building real soon. Let's start with the Adams Family car. The real life model is a 1938 Pontiac Tor Custom Limousine. This one sold for 30k. Yeah, I'm definitely too broke for that. Also, I'm actually pretty bad at creating Lego cars from scratch. That's like my biggest weakness. Luckily, I found this car model that is actually fairly similar to what I'm trying to make. Thanks, Nico. I downloaded and modified it so it closely resembles the original thing. Changed the wheels, added some hubcaps, and this white outline. Made it much longer, added in more doors, changed the shape of the back, and some other minor details. Next, we need some minifigs to actually go inside of it. For Morticia, we can start by making a face. Add some lips and smaller details, such as her eyelashes. Luckily, she wears a long black dress, which makes the clothing part of this much easier. Make a similar dress cut out. We can add these black parts on either side of the torso to better outline her figure. And this original Lego dress piece works perfectly. I also added a 4x4 plate to the bottom just to make her even taller. But wait, there's something missing. <laughs> Never mind. We can now drop her into the car. On to Gomez. Now listen, my man likes his food. So I thought using this Lego armor chest piece disguised as a suit with some quick texture work will look amazing. We have small details such as the tie, the jacket stripes. I also added some matching stripes to his legs. Let's give him a head and some hair. As always, I used the reference image to get the face right. And most importantly, his mustache. I must say, this armor chest piece actually works amazingly as a suit jacket. Into the car he goes. But wait, if both Morticia and Gomez are in the back, then who's actually driving this car? Don't worry, Lurch has it all under control. Even no, he is basically just a mix between an Enderman and a zombie. So I use these weird, kinda cursed long legs. I think they originate from the Toy Story minifigs. Even that wasn't tall enough, so I added in a little brick. That sounds like a wrapper name. The textures were similar to Gomez's suit, so I flew through those. Still making sure to add a small detail, such as a double tie. Face is the same story as before, but this time I also added some face lines to outline his bony cheeks. Slap some hair on top, and I really hope he can actually fit in the car. Anyways, the set still felt a bit empty, so I made this simple cobblestone road and slapped everything on top. Very shortly after the Adam's arrival to the Nevermore Academy, we are introduced to the What's principal guys? and her office. The actress who plays Larissa stands rather tall at six foot three. That's roughly 47 and a half minifigs. So I found this Lego dress piece, slapped the normal upper part on top, and added her face along with some hair. I used the Vornoy texture to make her clothes, which turned out pretty good in my opinion. Let's make the office room next. I started by placing down some brown tiles to act as the wooden floor. I also tried replicating the carpet as close as possible with more tiles. Created a simple wooden table and started kitting it out. We've got a couple of books, a mug, this glass thingy, some bird creature, which I just shoved into a little stud looks legit. If we look back at the reference, she is also in possession of a phone. I found this Lego phone, which actually looks amazing, but it's a bit big, which means I kind of ran out of space for her desk lamp. I recreated it anyways, and we can just keep it on the floor. I also added a light bulb to attract all the local moths in my area. Lastly, I added in some chairs, and the office is ready for Wednesday's arrival. So let's make her next. Now, whatever we do, we don't want this to end up looking like one of those real life Wednesday costumes. So let's make sure we get the uniform right. The white collar along with the tie is a good starting point. We can add in a gray jumper and whack a jacket on top of all that. I also wanted to replicate these stripes which ended up looking pretty good. The legs are all black with some stylish boots. I also felt like adding some laces in. Hmm, something doesn't look right. Let's add in a skirt. Luckily, Lego has us covered on that part. Now the exciting part, her actual identity. As always, a reference image can be used to create the eyebrows and the lips. She does look weird bold though. Luckily, this Lego hairpiece works well. And this is what a principal's office looks like populated. Though I'm not quite sure how Morticia and Larissa are actually supposed to sit down. Yikes. I've only made three sets so far and the clock is still ticking. Our build and chill date is getting closer and closer. With everyone settling 
setting in, we take a tour of Wednesday's new room and her roommate. Yep, they're both basically polar opposites. So I was able to simply duplicate Wednesday's uniform and change the colors around. I also gave her some matching socks and obviously kept the laces from before. Just pink this time. Made some lips and added in blue eyeliner, just like the original. Quickly put a wig on her head and Enid is finished. Let's move on to the room. So obviously the main feature is the massive circular window. I used normal bricks for the wall. Unfortunately, Lego doesn't have any circular windows, so I had to experiment and these little rectangle windows stacked on top of each other actually work quite nicely. I also made sure to try and replicate the same colors as in the original. I also added in some colorful carpet and a little table with a chair on which we can find a lamp, a laptop and this thing. Hmm, still looks a bit empty. Ah, there we go, some golden skates. Much better. Well, I hope they both get along because we all know just how much Wednesday loves all the colors. According to all known laws of aviation, there is no way a bee should be able to fly. Well, Eugene doesn't care about all that, so we'll be making the beehive hut thingy next. It's mostly constructed using vertical wood planks. I used some slope pieces and tiles to make the walls, making sure the different sizes, starting from bigger to smaller the higher we go, just like in the original. There's a little circular window at the top. I can use this arch piece and a couple of slope studs to make that. It's not a perfect circle, but neither are your eyes. Yeah, so keep that comment to yourself. Then I added a roof to finish it off. The set is looking a bit empty, so let's add some various props. Flowers, plants, and obviously some beehives. Here is the face I made, making sure to include his glasses, some proper hair, and his little smile. For his outfit, I made a beekeeping suit with smaller details, such as this stitching on the pockets and some clothing lines. Maybe bees shouldn't be able to fly, but Eugene definitely can. It is time for the thing. No, not that thing, this thing. Wednesday's little creepy crawly hand friend, which in this scene is hiding behind some big plant pot. While everyone else thinks, Wednesday is absolutely insane for talking to a literal plant. I made a simple table and added some plants. So if we look at some behind the scenes from the actual show, Thing is literally just some dude wearing a full blue suit who is then simply removed in post. Whereas in my Lego set, it's exactly the same thing. I made a blue minifig with only the one hand exposed, meaning I can chroma key him out later in post, resulting in a perfect replica of the thing. Now also, everyone else can silently judge Wednesday for talking to a plant, and the plants aren't the only thing she loves staring at. There is also this random statue, which definitely isn't a hidden entrance and definitely not a big part of the show, trust me. In fact, it's so unimportant and boring, it's basically made out of grungy concrete and some metal. So using some grey coloured tiles for the floor looks like concrete slabs. Using grey bricks, we can build up the wall. Some arch pieces towards the top and some curved bricks on the sides can be used to replicate the walls perfectly. Oh yeah, also, I literally have like 30 minutes to finish everything off or else my girlfriend will abandon me. The same way I abandoned poor Steve. So, I was planning on making the statue big and detailed, but I'm bad at Lego, so I just used a minifig with this wedge piece for the bottom. Kinda looks like he's wearing a dress, but also it kinda works. A blank head along with some fitting hair actually sort of makes it look like a statue. His hands are still empty though. He holds a book in one and a bird in the other. Luckily, we have the perfect piece for the book. There's even room for a little piece of paper and we can actually adjust how open the book is. Now for the bird, we can just steal the one from the principal's office and change the color so it matches. I'm sure she won't notice. Huh? Don't be a snitch. Adding in our Wednesday minifig just staring at the statue finishes this set off. Speaking of, I saw you looking at the subscribe button all this time. I recommend you press it. Okay, so here's all the sets of minifigs I did for this video. Hopefully my girlfriend will like them. Yeah, they're alright. You can legally call me a master builder now. If you happen to be friends with anyone from the Wednesday cast, let them know to watch this video. Also, comment down below what your favourite set and minifig was, and I'll see you in the next one.